Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So this is take four. Like, I just, I cannot make these channel update videos. I don't know why. It's it's so much easier. I think I'm just socially awkward. I think that's it. I think I'm actually socially awkward. You guys might not feel like I'm socially awkward from, like, watching all my YouTube videos, but I'm actually socially awkward. Um... When I'm talking about games and stuff, it's like it's like second nature. Like I can just I can just wing it and talk about anything I want. But whenever, whenever I'm talking about something like that's has to do with real life, like I stutter and I have to think about stuff. So do bear with me. Um, I'm also quite nervous making this video because I I'm making an announcement that I basically have not told anybody else in in the world except for a few close friends and my family. They're, they're the only ones that I know. Um, and you guys are the first people that I'm making, like, I'm actually making this public. I do consider, like, my YouTube channel somewhat pub public, because there's, there's quite a lot of people here that will be able to see this. If you guys don't know, this is a channel update video. Um, it's not related to MSL, it's basically just me talking a little bit about my life, or about, um, the YouTube channel in general, or what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, I... I sold out. Actually, no, I didn't sell out. I, I bought in. I did the exact opposite and I bought in. So, um, yeah, I'll show you guys a a video um, of a of the project, the secret project that I've been, I've been working on. This is the official um, intro video for Momoe Anime. Welcome to Momoe. Here at Momoe, we are all about catering all the popular anime merchandise selections you can't really find anywhere else. Our goods come from China, but like all products nowadays, pretty much everything else is too. However, at Momoe, we only sell the best of the best, branded or officially licensed anime merchandise. Still not convinced? Try us out today by ordering one of our free gifts! Momoe, bring home what you love! Yeah, I'm selling anime merchandise, and the anime merchandise that I'm selling, as you heard from the intro video, is um and this this cord is like like falling off um it's from china but they're not like you know a lot of people associate china with uh like bootleg brands or like just you know those t-shirts where you just have like an anime character printed on it it's it's nothing like that um the type of products i'm selling are the are from local brands or from um the official agents of whatever Japanese anime there is within China. So the products I'm selling are to be sold, are basically items that are sold to people that are local in China. So, um, so yeah, they're from they're from those brands, or they're from uh, they're from uh, like agents that are that hold the official rights to those products and making products that are exclusively for the Chinese audience. So I'll give you guys an example. I'll probably show some pictures as well. Um, I'll use I'll use the, like the Miku line that I have for for example. Like um, in China, the exclusive agent, the ones that hold exclusive rights to like exclusive official official rights to Hatsune Miku, is a is a brand called SLCA, and they're you know they basically worked out a deal with uh, Krypton Future Media, which are the people that created miku and they make like a official miku merchandise that are sold for sold in um either for uh like concerts expos or uh or what else or, or or just like celebrations for example so like two of the products one of them um is like this this bag it has like the miku official 10th anniversary logo and it was created just specifically to celebrate Miku's 10th anniversary, which is actually two months ago, but uh, they they still have those bags, like they still have some left, but th those are like limited edition. Um, and, um, you know, I, I, uh, I'm I planning on, well, not planning, but I, I'm selling those. And also I'm selling, um, I'm selling like the, they also have like folders. So uh, basically in like 2006, there was a Miku Expo, which is like, Miku had like two concerts in China. One was in Beijing and one was in Shanghai. And they have like uh, these these folders, these like folders that are only sold in those concerts. Um, and on the um, on the online store for like the official, like the official Miku online store. Um, so I'm planning on 
just selling those and、um, selling them to people all over the world because those are products that are only exclusive to the audience within China.、And、the other things I'm selling are like just、um, things that are designed by local brands. So you can take a look at some of the.、Um, I think the 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 biggest brand that I I have a lot of products of are are from Moiyu and they have like. Um, just some really really well made stuff. Like you can see, like the saber wallet that I'm doing for a giveaway.、Um, that's really really nice. And also they have like these、uh, Opi mouse pads. Like actually, I actually have some of the products. I have some of the products.、Um, this one this one hasn't been put imported into my store, but I am planning on selling. Like this.、Uh, Wait, I can't can't see it. Stupid reflection. This is a Rem Opie mouse pad. Like, you know one of those. Like if you、uh, if you put your hand in between, like you can you can do an armrest. I cannot unbox this right now because I、uh, I'm planning on making a YouTube channel for the for the、uh, for the store at the same time. So I'll be doing like unboxing videos on on that YouTube channel, and I'll also use that YouTube channel as like kind of a kind of like a video. Video blog, but not like talking about life. But I'll talk about like anime stuff. I've always wanted to make an anime channel. It was, it's,、uh, it's always been something I wanted to do, and I think this was a pretty good chance. The reason why I made this store is because you know, first of all, I really like anime. Like you, you guys might know just from looking at every single one of my thumbnails. Like I, I really do like anime.、Um, the other thing is like I just I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur and start my own company and do. Do something like this, and the other channel is like I, I wanted to, um, I wanted to find a way where I could, like, make some income so I'd have more time to work on other things like like this YouTube channel and make make gaming related stuff as well. Um, after today, I will be able to have a little bit more free time, but I'm not sure. I probably will still have to make. Uh, Monster Super League videos like every two days, but I will maybe have a little bit more free time.、Um, the store isn't a hundred percent complete; like it's still, it's still in the works.、So、that's why I'm announcing it to you guys first. So if you guys happen to find any、uh, any bugs or anything weird going on, like there's any errors in the store or.、Uh, Maybe in the description, like something I didn't write very clearly, something that's not explained very clearly.、Um, you guys can ask me about that. You, there, you can either send me an email, or you can send email through the store email address, or you can PM me on Discord. You can you can do whatever.、Um, but yeah, that's that's what I wanted to、uh, ask you guys for for help.、Um, that, well, that's where I want to ask you guys for help. If you could.、Uh, If I had like more people going to the store, looking at it, and seeing if、uh, if there's any anything wrong with it, <laughs> it would definitely help a lot. Because I mean, you guys know that the the store is made by me, but a lot of people like I do plan in the future to like run advertisements to the store. But if I run advertisements to the store and they find something wrong with the store, they're just gonna they're just gonna leave, and、um, and then it'll be really bad for me. But Like you guys know me, so like you know you guys know it's like my store. Like there's there there is some trust here, but like for people that I don't know, they they won't they won't trust me. Like they'll think like this is a scam store. Although the store looks really nice. Like I I must say this is not me like bragging or like just patting myself on the back or anything. The store looks pretty nice. Like it looks pretty good. Um, I'm pretty my. I'm pretty proud of it. Like it, it's it's pretty good so far, but it's not perfect. Like there's still some things I need to add, and、um, I've only added a few products. Well, it depends on how you see a few. Like compared to like Amazon, I have like barely any products. But compared to like other random online stores, then、um, I might have more than <laughs> more than you think.、Um, but yeah, this is just a small store. It's just some.、Um, Either some branded or official、um, merchandise that I that I plan to sell,、um, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully people like it.、Um, and if you guys want to buy anything, I'll give you guys a special coupon. I'll give you guys a, I'll give you guys a special discount.、Um, actually, the, my margins are pretty small. 
or it can't be more than 15 like it can't be more than 15 percent i have a i have a coupon in my store for like 10 percent. i'll give you guys a 50 15 percent discount if I, if I give any more i think I, I think i might start losing money um but yeah the reason why i wanted to start this store and the reason reason why i said like this isn't selling out this is buying in is because eventually in the future i do also want to start like um like an affiliate program because I, I realized that a lot of uh a lot of like youtubers or maybe streamers like smaller streamers are pretty much in the same position as me like they they they're, they're struggling to um keep their channel alive because either they had to like they have to like you know work at the same time and also also do youtube um it does take a lot of time so i wanted to also start an affiliate program in the future um the affiliate program is definitely not ready like there's there's so many things that i um, I'd still need to set up, but the store, like the bare, bare minimal of the store is, uh, is completely done. So, um, people will be able to go in and, and shop and buy things. So that's like, that's like the bare, bare minimum. Um, but there's a lot of other things that I'm planning to add, like the affiliate programs and, and more products and, um, starting a blog on the store and also starting a YouTube channel for the store, um, to do like the product reviews and also make some videos talking about like, you know random anime stuff like those anime channels um so i thought it was a it was a pretty good idea and and yeah i can also help people out who are struggling in the same position as as me um but that being said i don't know if this store is going to succeed like i it, like for any business that you start you, i don't know if it's going to work out um but hopefully hopefully it does like i just i've uh i've burned all the bridges i've burned i completely burned all the bridges and i just i went all in like i just i went completely all in um basically i threw in all my money that i had in the bank and i yeah i, I worked i worked day and night for like two months so i hadn't take a single day off i just but it was it was fun. It was it was definitely a really really good experience. Um, but yeah, the hopefully the store the store uh, does does take off and, and it, it it goes pretty well. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about in this video is I guess I guess a little bit more philosophical. Um, I'm a, I'm a philosophical guy. I like to I like to talk about life and and concepts and I. I like to see life in the, the same way I, I see like whenever I'm playing games like I, I kind of use that same mentality and that also reflects on my life as well like because I um, you guys might know you guys see this this farming team I don't know if you guys been have been a, around for long enough if you guys remember the first time I made my first gin the first time I, I gemmed him up or I actually gleaned him I fed 12 gleams into him to make him like I basically treated him like he was a nat five. I fed twelve gleams into him to make him a an evil three, um, and I put put a siphon set on him, and he was like he was complete beast, and he farmed so fast that um, I think for for three weeks after that I was like first place in capture league because nobody was able to farm as fast as I was. But now everybody has siphoning gems, so there's a lot more co competition. But during that time, like I was literally the the fastest farmer in the game. Um, after I, I cleaned him up because like nobody could farm star sanctuary uh, as as fast as I could because he would literally always get his bar full every single turn and and do that but um, the the reason why I mentioned that was because it's kind of like it's kind of like me starting this business versus me going to get a job and working in that job um, the reason why I chose to start this business was because, you know, I, I, I've always been the type of guy that, um, that plans ahead, like that plans really, really far ahead, and, um, I basically, like, whenever I'm playing a game, the, the first thing I would try to do is I would look and see what the ultimate goal, the ultimate end game of the game is, and I would aim towards that, like, every, everything I do would be calculated and planned and worked towards that goal towards that end game um and 
also I you know I've been reading a lot of books as well but th there was a concept I don't know if you guys ever read Rich Dad Poor Dad um, in Rich Dad Poor Dad he like the concept basic like the, the most important concept of Rich Dad Poor Dad is he, he talks about the concept of cash flow which is um, basically using money to make money and there's a lot of ways to do that you can you can start your own business you can um, do stocks you can do real real estate investments you can invest in other entrepreneurs starting businesses um, there's a lot of ways to do that but uh, the the concept of ca cash flow is very simple you acquire some sort of asset that is a, that you're a that that a, and have that asset be able to make more money or more resources for you and so that's the same thing as like you know using this gen um, when I was a when I was a kid actually yeah I was definitely a kid during that time um, I guess I first learned about that that concept like I always had that concept from playing a game on Warcraft 3 if you guys don't know Warcraft 3 there's a whole bunch of custom games that people make and the game I played that or I spent a lot of time playing was called cheap tag it was a very very simple game it was an online game like on Warcraft 3 everything was online um, or on Battle.net, it was like the original Battle.net. The place was complete cancer. Like the chats were complete cancer. Like just everybody would be just cussing everybody out, like constantly. Like it would just be that. If you guys think like any video games chat is toxic, like it just it cannot compare to original Battle.net. Like <laughs> that is that is really really bad. Um, but but yeah, I, I I grew up in the environment. I was I was uh. I, I, I was born in it. I was molded by it. You know, I was molded by the cancer. Um, but anyways, when I was playing um, Warcraft 3, there was a game called Sheep Tag. And the game was very, very simple. It was a very simple game. You guys had, I think there was like seven sheeps and three wolves. Now the sheeps would run away from the wolves. The wolves would try to catch the sheep. But the way that sheeps win, or the she sheeps have to survive around a certain period of time. Um, there's two ways that the sheeps can win. Either one, you keep running away until the time is over. It's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like those, those it, yeah, it's kind of like tag. It's just like playing tag, but uh, instead of being it, like you just, if you're tagged, you're you're dead, you know. And then the other team wins. Um, so the wolves would would chase after the sheep. The sheep would run, and uh, what the sheep's were able to do is they the sheep's were able to build houses. So they could build houses to block out the wolves. Um, there's like really fragile normal houses that don't cost any money um, and you build the houses to block out the wolves and then you run and then the wolves will try to break down the houses and also try to chase you and kill you um, but there's seven sheep and there's four wolves so at any given time there's always like three sheeps that aren't being chased by a certain wolf also you can try to group together where you have one guy building the houses and then another guy um, trying to accumulate resources and the way you accumulate resources in that game is very simple you get gold over time So you basically it's very very slow you get like one gold um, a second It's very very slow you get like one gold a second um, Or maybe two gold a second it, it, for the different versions of the game. There's a lot of versions of the game. It's always different But you would get gold very very slowly now you can use that gold to build houses or you can use that like there's some free houses that you can use to basically help you survive at the beginning of the game. You can use your gold to build like stronger barricades to try to block out the wolves and basically buy yourself more time. Or you can use the house, use the gold to buy um, farms. And while you have those farms up, the goal that you get over time is faster. So it, instead of getting one gold a second, for every farm you have, it becomes two gold a second. If you have three, it becomes three, like, you know, if you have two farms, it becomes three gold a second. You know, you get one gold a second more with every farm that you have up. So, you know, and the farms maybe cost like 50 gold or something like that. So you put down a farm, um, you have to, the farm has to be up for 50 seconds. And if it's up for 50 seconds, you basically, you get your, you, you get that, you get your money back basically. And then that, that farm exists there to continue making more money for you while it's, while it's still there. Um, and that's that's kind of the same concept like that's that's the same concept and eventually uh, once you have enough resources you can start building a lot of really really strong barricades like towers houses you can summon heroes and stuff to fight the wolves like if you actually had enough um, money to to do so so it becomes like a, a game of you know you have to find a strategy you have to work around the, the 
the way that you have seven members, like seven sheep, and there's only three wolves. And then some of you guys that aren't being chased by the wolves would try to build up these farms and try to accumulate your resources so you can have stronger, um, stronger farms or stronger like defenses against the wolves in the future. And there's two ways that the sheep can win. Basically, they have so much resources that their defenses are so strong that the wolves are. It's like impossible for the wolves to break in and 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 kill you, um, or you survive after the time is and then eventually they win once the time timer ends and um but at the point where the wolves can no longer break into the sheep's base like it's it's already over because there's no way that they can win so it's already like it's already gg at that point but there's also like you can also run away and try to survive until the wolf um until the timer ends and then you you win that way for the sheep um and the wolves just have to kill the sheep to win so yeah the the concept is very simple it's just uh the, it's the same concept. It's like I try to I try to accumulate as many as much resource as I can now, or else I'm spent. I have to spend the rest of this game or my life, you know, running away from the wolves. So I have to find a way. I have to find a way to break out of the loop. Like it, for every like little bit of breathing room that I have, I have to try to build up a farm. Um, and if I can get one farm and that farm survives long enough to make my money back, then I have that farm to exist there and I can continue to use that farm to accumulate more resources and I can build a second farm in the future or a third farm. And then that's how, I guess that's how people get rich. That's, that's basically the, the way that people get like really, really rich. They don't work like a super good job. They have like a lot of assets that are continuously helping them make money. Um, but yeah, it's it's one of the reasons why I chose to start a business instead of instead of doing that. But also, like you know, in the book Rich Dad Poor Dad, he like recommends not to start a business because only one out of um, twenty businesses survive past like I think it's like one in ten survive past like five years, and then only one in twenty survive past ten years. Or, or wait, he says five years for um, one in ten. And then uh, 1 in 20 survive past 10 years. So it's like there's a the chance of you coming out ahead is actually quite low. Like there's only a 5% chance that this this would be successful or something like that. That there won't be any problems and I can continue to have this be an asset and continue to make money in the future. Um, but I've always, you know, I've always wanted to create something to... Um, try and try and rely on myself you know try to try to be independent um i i've actually really been thinking because i i was before i started this um a friend of mine i was talking to him on online and he was uh he actually gave me some advice when i was starting this business he's one of the few people that know that i'm i'm actually doing this we had a talk yesterday it was actually pretty pretty uh pretty philosophical as well it's talking about like how um like he's living a pretty good life and he uh you know he's got he's got a good job where he doesn't work for any boss he works for himself and um and yeah he has like a lot of freedom and stuff like that and we were talking about like you know if if I become rich, like, you know, I would, I would want those things as well. And I, I basically said that, like, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want those things. I wouldn't want, you know, I wouldn't want, like, a nice car, a big house, or, or something like that. Like, if, if I were to become rich, and then he's like, you just don't have those things yet. Thing is, like, I actually, um, I think I was showering. It was like a shower thought. Then I actually made the connection. Why? why um to a, a lot of people like those things are normal but to me i don't actually want those same things and in, instead i want something else like i actually i told him that if i if i had um all the money in the in the world first thing i would do is i would i would start and i would try to make my own video game like i would make my own video game in a way where i have complete control over it so like i don't want to I don't want to work for a big game company. I want to like have enough resources to invest into a video game where I can 
control every aspect of it and hire all the right people and just make like the most perfect masterpiece that that's ever existed um like that's that's that, that would be like the first thing i do if i if i uh, ever become rich um that's that's when i actually realized that the the reason why um the things i want are I guess i guess a little bit different from from normal is because i've actually I've actually, I actually I told you guys this before, um, I actually grew up really sheltered and really, uh, I don't think spoiled is the right word. I don't want to, uh, I don't want my parents to feel bad about hearing this, but, um, I grew up, like, in the most, like, sheltered, protected, like, everything was provided for me, like, I didn't have to do anything and, like, no expectations, like, I just, like, uh... Basically, you know, I, I grew up like a princess. That's that's basically that's that's, that's the easy way, easiest way to put it. Um, so yeah, like when I was talking about like when I was thinking about freedom, um, having a nice house, a car, um, those things didn't never like I guess they don't attract me because I've always I guess I've always had them. <laughs> I've always had them before I, I moved out. And one of the reasons why I moved to Canada or I chose to move to Canada instead of like continuing to, um, you know, first of all, there's a, there's the, the whole army thing. Like the first, the, the number one reason I moved out, out of Taiwan was because I wanted to escape going to the army. Um, not for the reason of like, it's, it's really hard there because there's other ways you can do it. you can do like other services you can work for some other company um but if i do that i have to basically give up you know doing youtube and everything i i worked on and built and at the same time like you know there's people that go into the army as a profession like they're it's their career um they're like career soldiers but for me like if i if i go into the army um it would just be like a year wasted it would be a complete waste of time for for an entire year and yeah, my, my father definitely agrees on that as well. So, um, you know, I could have done some, like, I basically already used every trick in the book to delay it as much as possible, delay going to the army as much as possible. And um, there was actually a few more tricks I could have used, but I, I just thought that it was, it was, it's, it's, it's time to stop being a scrub and actually, like, um, you know, go out and, um, venture into the world and all that stuff and that's why I, I came back to Canada um, Canada is a familiar place I did grow up, grow up here so the the culture everything um, this location around Vancouver I'm pretty familiar with it as well um, so I decided to move back here and I wanted to I guess I wanted to I guess I wanted to be independent I wanted to experience um, experience life and stuff and like you know, whenever I say this, like nobody, nobody would believe me. Like when I was living this like minimalistic life, where I would be counting pennies, trying to get by w without a job, and like you know, trying to last as long as I possibly can, um, like living in the cheapest place possible, like buying a whole sack of potatoes for like two dollars and uh, eating that for an entire month. You know that that was uh, it was a fun experience. It was definitely really, really fun. Um, but nobody, nobody would believe me. Like, it's, it's, it's different. It's like something I, I never was able to experience before because of, uh, because of how sheltered I am. Like, I was, um, I don't, I'd always be eating fine food. I would always have everything provided for me. Um, and that's that's why I guess everybody always thinks the grass is greener on the other side. They always want something that's on the other side. Um, but yeah, it was like I kept living that life. I was like trying to play that game of like you know trying to live with the minimum expense as much as I possibly can. And there was like a wake up call. Like I I said this in the last video. There was a wake up call where I was going to the fridge like when i first got here i was like super not used to it like the sh everything was rusty there was no kitchen like um just living conditions is like it's like the absolute worst here but right now i'm already like completely used to it it's not even about originally i had the thought of like 
getting a job, going to work. Like that's when I started thinking about money. Was when I, one night I was going to the fridge. I opened it up, and I saw a rat inside eating eating our food. Thankfully for me, um, I keep everything in a container. It's just it's just good habits. I have keep everything in a container, so like, there was no way he was able to get into my my food. But some of my roommates, they just basically kept everything, something outside like that, like a half-cut onion, I think, at the top layer of the fridge. The rat was eating that. And yeah, I just, I just, I just saw the rat, and then it was like... Uh, long story short, I I killed the rat in the end. And uh, yeah, I threw him outside. And it was like a wake-up It was like a big wake-up call. It was like, it was like hey... Isaac, what the fuck are you doing? Like, what? Why are you doing this? Like, like, why are you, why are you living like like this? Like, what the fuck are you doing, Isaac? Um, that was like a wake up call where I decided, you like, know, oh, maybe I should, uh, maybe I should do something else instead. Like, maybe maybe this is a this is not the best idea. Um, but yeah, it was it was pretty. I think it was pretty fun. Like, cause. Um, I, I did a lot of things I normally most people would think it's like too troublesome but I just I had all the time in the world during the, those months where I was living like minimal minimalistically and I had like I had all the time in the world but I just didn't have any resources at all so what I would do is like I would you know I would buy a sack of potatoes and the potatoes would start sprouting really fast so the moment I buy them is I would like I would uh peel the skin and then I would like cook them and then that that would take like you know two three hours to do like because I have to do them in batches and uh, it's like it was like extremely time consuming but it was also super super cheap because the whole sack of potatoes only cost like two dollars and I was able to eat that for a month and um, just other things as well like making your own making my own like fried chicken like I would take like the chicken breast I would buy my own like breadcrumbs and stuff and like just making my own fried chicken um, just normal things that you normally wouldn't even think about doing because like it was like it was like uh, McDonald was too expensive during that time like most people would, would be like oh McDonald's super cheap like if you want to eat super cheap just be eating McDonald's like McDonald's was too expensive instant noodles was too expensive uh, the only thing that wasn't too expensive was like potatoes and like rice and uh and bologna. Bologna was super cheap. Actually, I still eat bologna. It's like, it's pretty much ham, right? It's just ham with like random meat. It's like mystery meat. You don't want, you don't know what's mixed inside, but it's meat, so it's, it's, it's all good. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> I just thought about it. I was like, yeah, no. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was, it, it was a fun experience, but I think, um, I think it's time to play a different game. I think it's time to play a different game. That's why I decided to start this. And hopefully hopefully it works out. Hopefully um, everything works out the way the way I, I hope. And if it doesn't, then um, if it doesn't I'll be I'm pretty fucked. If it doesn't I'm pretty fucked. But I like I, I never plan for it to to, to not work. I basically I did everything I can. So I, if you guys want to check it out, please please do. Um, I did. Are you kidding me? He's gonna go for it. They win the round. He go fix up a triple. Something happened to sub during the time. But yeah, I wanted to just make this video talking to you guys for a bit, um, and having you guys check out my website. Um, the thing you can help me with the most isn't necessarily to buy anything because even if you guys do buy something, like it's not. It's not a sustainable business. <laughs> like it's not a sustainable business for 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 me to do this because I have to, I guess, um, have a lot more orders than than um, than just over here. So, I guess the biggest thing you guys can help me out if you do want to help out is if you can um, just go around the store, see if there's any bugs, any errors, because I didn't have all the time in the world to check everything and I did do some checking usually I did did a lot of proofing um, but there can always be problems something I didn't account for so if you guys do find anything like that please please do tell me the other thing is um, I made a lot of social media uh, accounts that I'll be sharing stuff for for the website on in in there and 
if you guys can, can follow me on those accounts, it would be really nice. Because uh, there's a lot more like proof, social proof if people follow me. Like if you go to a fan page and you, you see like, um, you know, like two likes on Facebook versus like a thousand likes, there's a pretty big difference. Like there's a lot more trust on the pages that have like a thousand likes, you know. So um, if you can, please, uh, please like all my... Uh, <laughs> All my social media pages. If you if you if you have any of those social media, I won't I, I won't spam anything on those. Like I'll just I'll I'll make like a qual I'll make quality posts only. Like I'll just I'll make uh, either some sort of like blog post where I talk about stuff, or if I make a YouTube video um, about anime related stuff, or if I make a um, 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 like a, a product video. Like if I, if I make a product video where I review the products, I'll post that on YouTube as well. Um, and also share it on the, the social media. It's like they'll all be connected. So they basically just like work to help each other. It's like a, it's like a symbiotic relationship. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to tell you guys. And hopefully you guys enjoy whatever I, I, uh, I provide. And the good news is now that I've, um, finally set this up i uh i have a little bit more free time so i i'm no promises but i i might be able to do a, a bit more videos from monster super league as well um i'm also planning to also make videos on other games as well but i'm not quitting msl like it's not some secret ninja quit you know switcheroo crazy shit but like i'm still i'm still very uh I'm still very interested in playing MSL. Like I, I still play the game like a lot, and it's still really enjoyable. Um, like leveling monsters, collecting new toys, collecting new waifus. But yeah, I also want to, if I if I can, start doing some other things as well. Um, I actually got a request from some people to review an indie game that they made, so I also want to do that um, in the new near future as well. And. Um, Yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the in, enjoyed this, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to I'm gonna make some uh, I'm gonna make some summons right now. All right, I'm gonna make some summons. I'm gonna after this run, after this run, I'm gonna do my Kana Rebirth. I might as well do it in this video. After this, after this, I'm gonna take today off. Like just, just today, just today. I'm gonna take today off. I haven't had a single day of break in two months. Like not a single, not not one day. I've worked day and night for like two months. Not a single day of break. But today, I think, I think now that it's it's up and running, um, I'm gonna go to Facebook, put out some ads. And actually, I should probably wait wait a bit. I'll wait till like maybe later today to put out some ads. This way, like if you guys happen to find any bugs in what I did, I'm also I always like look on it as well. Like even on my phone, you guys can see it on your phone. Like the website works on phone and also works on uh, works on Windows. But if you guys find any bugs, please please do tell me. I'll I'll fix it ASAP. Man, I'm, ne I'm never completing that Reddit event thingy. Where you have to make an X and a T. Sad. Ooh, a birdie. Always buy the birdies. So the birdies can be fed into the dark birdies. But yeah, I wanted to, um, I guess, do my last two batches of Kanas for this rebirth. And that'll be the end of it. That'll, that'll, that would just be the very, very end of uh, of the Kanas. So I think I have a Dark Fibian and a Light Fibian in store so I can feed these two away. And the Mihos is also variant so these are also going to be fed. Um, the other ones I have left are to use are the Jacks and the uh, and like a few other random monsters. So I do have 12 eggs here. Let's see if we can get a 4 star from one of these eggs. If we can, we can use that for rebirth. If it's not something I need, obviously.
All right, nine more eggs. So let's, let's hope this works out. You know, I just I just like thought about it when I said just now, like about <laughs> about she tag and all that stuff. I don't know if it's really clear. It's like it's like a really abstract thought that I I was trying to explain. I don't know if you guys if you guys got it. Man, the, these eggs used to have a lot better raids in the past. I think it's just because everybody's farming so fast now that uh, you get so many eggs in order to balance it a bit. Like they need to make it so it's like not possible to uh, to get that many nat fives from these. You can imagine like every hundred eggs you just pull a nat five. I'd be getting a nat five every single day if I keep farming B10. Actually, wait, I can't farm a hundred eggs in a day. Might be able to. Oh, nice. All right, good. I don't need this Yaksha. We can uh, we can feed it. I think I can farm. If you farm B10, I heard that the rates are better for eggs. Like you get a five percent chance. That's why I have so many eggs farming B10, and I have like a really fast B10 team. I have the fastest B10 team with the Radis and the Toads. It's like super fast. So yeah, there's there's that. Uh. We don't need this, we don't need this. Uh gonna feed the mammoth. Better not feed the mammoth. Um Guess we'll Guess we'll do the variants first. Not that I really need the variants. Need to do use a variant. Maybe I should save them for the next one. I already have all the variant connas I need. Yeah, I think. All right, let's let's uh, let's use the jacks then. Let's use the jacks. I don't need the jacks anymore. I already have like a bunch of jacks. All right, maybe if I only feed light and dark monsters, it'll give me a dark one. Sad. I think I need to do two full batches, so I'm just gonna summon these jacks and just use them. I should have enough money to do this, I hope. Yeah, I have like 3 million. We're good. I wish you could use the uh, Guardian Dungeon Monsters for this, but they, they fixed it. You used to be able to do it. Alright, that's three. Come on, give me a dark one. Square slot. Oh man, never lucky. I already have enough jacks. I think I have three or two. Yeah, I built I built two light jacks, so that's pretty good. Although I didn't, I don't really, I don't really have the resources to level them. I kind of just kept them there for collection purposes. I I definitely don't need a third one. I, I built two dark jacks as well. Um, mainly for experiments actually. I wanted to raise one to for like video purposes. A lot of the things I do on MSL are for video purposes. See if we can uh, get another dark one. Oh, that's another wood. Sorry, we're gonna we're gonna finish two batches. So basically, like ten rebirths, and then I'll have enough to evil three another kana. I might not need to. Oh, I got a variant. We'll, we'll save that one for the next variant, next rebirth. I kind of don't want to use my variants because um, maybe in the next one I'll be able to uh, get the variant if it's a better variant skill. Because the kanas have a very bad variant skill. I think it's like blue soul recovery. Which is absolutely horrible.
All right, I think this this sh this should finish this batch. We'll use three here. Come on, oh, another wood one. Um. We use this, and then the Yaksha and the Succubus that I don't need. Another wood one. All right, we finished the uh, we finished this batch. Let me just go back and count how many Kanas I have because I might not. Uh, I might have missed a few, or I might have I might have miscounted. I might already be able to make an Evo 3. So, as for my Kanas, I have, uh, I have, where are my Kanas? So I have this Dark one that I already raised. I have a second Dark one that I got from last Rebirth Fest. I do have a third Dark Kana, but she doesn't have a square slot, so I'm trying to get a Dark Kana that has a square slot. I'm probably not going to build her if I get enough Kanas to make an Evo 3. Um, and I still don't have another dark one. I prop I'm probably just gonna feed her and see if I uh, Possibly build a water one because I kind of wanted the uh, The death down It seems pretty nice Or possibly the wood one. I'm, I'm still deciding We have a double square diamond uh, water and a double square diamond wood I might actually build the water one because I I don't have a lot of uh, a lot of defense down monsters and she has very good stats so I might actually build her I kind of do like the variant watercolor as well this way I can use use her for collection purposes as well and I also get astrogems if I evolve a different element but if I get a, a dark another dark one with square slot I'm going to probably raise that one instead so like look at this 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 color looks so good Compared to the wood one, I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one has a better looking color. I think definitely the water one. But the wood one might be more useful for more people. Ooh, this one looks really good too. Definitely not the fire one. I, I might actually just raise the water one. Uh, so how many kanas do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have 13. Basically, we only need 3 more, but I'm going to complete the batch just so we get uh, we get the Astro Gems back. It's, it's worth it to do the 2 more rebirths to get the Astro Gems back. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to summon all these jacks and just use them up. Someone asked in my ooh, this is a level six lead. But it's a uh, it's not that good. It's red soul recovery. It's, it's like it's like the worst leader skill. It has like zero use. I don't even know what they do. Like I, I did a lot of testing with the blue soul and red soul recovery. It's just it's just bad. There's no practical use for those skills. Unless it's like a lot, unless like if you have blue soul recovery leader, it's like you have siphon gems. That that actually might make a difference. You know what they should change the leader skills? Like just give them like leech, like a leech leader skill. Like instead of red soul, it's like you leech a certain amount of damage you do. And it actually might be useful. Or like instead of uh... Instead of blue soul recovery, to change it to siphon. Like you siphon an amount of percent of damage that you do. It's like a leader skill siphon. It's like a passive siphon. That would be pretty damn amazing. Um, I'm bad at counting, so we're just going to do a few. And then go back and rebirth and then do another few. Come on, what's it going to be? All right, it's another wood one. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to pop all the jacks. You 
You know what was super sad? I I missed like two D'Artagnans yesterday. It was so so sad. I missed another one this morning as well. Alright, only a few more. Oh dang, I was short seven soul stones for another one. That's definitely tilting. Seven soul stones. Rip. All right, all right. Here we go. It's another water one. I might get a triple square water one. I I definitely raise that one then. Fire. I haven't seen a fire in a while. Um, dang, we're running out. We need three more. Alright, what do I use? I'll summon this last jack. There's really no use for it anymore. And then I will... What don't I need? I have like no use for Yuki at all. Or Kira. We'll just summon this one and then we'll summon like another uh, Kira or something. And feed that one. All right, good stuff. Let's do it. This is the this is the last rebirth for Kana. Feed the Kira. Where where where'd the Yuki go? Oh wait, we need one more actually. All right, we're almost done. We're almost there. All right, so wood one. Okay, this is the this is the final one. This is the final rebirth. Um, we'll do. Wait, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just go summon something. Uh, what I don't need, I don't. I don't need this. Should I, I should actually. Fi I should actually save that one. I don't need the Kuro. I definitely do not need any Kuros, unless I get a light Kuro. Like, there's. I'm not raising any of the RGB ones. Alright, baby, last last rebirth. Wish me luck. Get a dark one, triple square. Or a triple square water one would be good too. Alright, no dark. This one doesn't have square, it's kind of sad. If I had square, I would just raise a third dark one. Um, Alright, let's raise the, the water one. I think the water one might be better than the wood one for me. I have a lot of courageous strikers already. I have like... Wood Pino, Thor, Indra, three Indras, Garuda. It's basically what I use. I think I have a second wood Garuda that, that I never use. I do have some armor down. It's not it's not the worst. Damn, I'm considering it. Like should I Should I raise another dark one? Or raise a water one? Cause if I raise another dark one. I could gem her intuition. She would have pretty high crit range. Just go triple attack. 
It would still be alright for off PvP offense. Or I could use this for Titans. Alright, let's, let's raise, raise the water one. I didn't even get a, a light one. It's uh it's quite amazing. I feel like I fought all my life for this. This one part, this one third. Dang her her color looks really good. The very one looks even better. The water one's color looks looks really good. I think I'm just doing this for waifu reasons. Oh wait, wait, I forgot to go collect astrogens. I was too distracted. I was do doing too much thinking. Damn, all the Kanas look, look really good. It's hard to decide. I should have made one of each just for collection. But I made two dark for like practical reasons. The dark one's actually really good for uh, for everything. Alright, here's where I make the final decision. Uh, one of these two. Do it, don't do it. Alright, I'm making the water one. We'll take the variant. And we'll keep uh, we'll keep these two. For, just for whatever reason. Damn, the water the variant water one looks amazing. She looks like a goddess. Oh shit. I missed I messed up. Ooh, there we go. Alright, I'll use her for a. Uh, for titans and stuff. I also got some bonus astrogens for doing this. 180. Alright, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, the other thing I can do is uh, I can make a variant. Or I can make this dark birdie. Evo 3. All right, now I'm completely out of gold. Ooh, this looks this looks great. And I have a Actually, this is not a lot of astrogens. It's like barely anything. But anyways, that's that's pretty much it. Uh that was that's the end of the video, guys. If you I'll I'll include a link below to everything including all the social media um i would really really appreciate it if you guys can follow me there because it would help build social proof a lot and help me uh yeah help me i guess help me get customers faster if i if if you guys help me there like just follow me on social media and if you guys like anime then it's also a good idea because i can i can share anime stuff there i don't know what i'll blog about it's, uh, it's random shit. You know, if you ever look on my Discord, I share a lot of like artwork as well from like different artists. <coughs> art artwork, um, you know, the same type of um, artwork I use for for all my thumbnail videos. 
But anyways, that's that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.